And stay with us, folks. Momentarily, we're going to have Bill Wasilenko on with us to talk about the LaSalle Football Almanac. So, Bill, we're going to welcome you on the air now. Ray, I'll have you get back behind the camera there and take a good look at uh, Bill Wasilenko's mean mug. All right, welcome you back inside the booth. Bill, how you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. I'm a little frustrated with this game so far. Uh-oh. I imagine the language in the locker room might be a little saltier than the Dead Sea. <laughs> hopefully they'll bring those guys out because they sort of look like a golf team hanging around at the first tee before an event, so uh, oh boy. before the game. So I think they're going to come out really fired out in the, uh, in the second half. Well, Bill, you are a LaSalle football historian, and it's – Something that not many, if any, programs can really boast. Certainly not the level to which you do it. You follow LaSalle Athletics, you know the history, and you document it in such a, a fine and disciplined way and present it in such an accessible way to the rest of the LaSalle community. I know that I'm impressed. I know it helps me in what we do up here. So, one, want to thank you for that. And, two, let us know how you got into it. I got into it probably uh, because I was the secretary of the Touchdown Club in 2010. And I wanted to sort of bring the knowledge of LaSalle football history, first to myself, but then also to a small group of the alums and also the parents uh, of, of the team at the time. And it became uh, a hobby and then uh, a passion and then an obsession because every day I do something involving LaSalle football history. And so it's gotten to the point where I, I accumulated a whole lot of stuff. LaSalle had saved almost everything. Uh, from reels of film all the way back to 1952, the yearbooks, the Wisterians back to 1934, going down to LaSalle, uh, LaSalle University and seeing Brother Joe Gravenstein, who's the archivist of all things LaSalle, uh, getting access to the Inquirer and Daily News archives online. There was just so much information that was available. And so uh, it just snowballed. And, and my first book that I put out was really on the history of the first 100 seasons of LaSalle in 2014. Uh, and that was a book to celebrate LaSalle football, and it celebrated a lot of the championships, a lot of the All-Catholics, uh, a lot of essays that I had written that were in that book. But the one thing I realized is that LaSalle football means just as much to the guy who was on an 0-9 team in his senior year. And, and they are still proud of their efforts. And, and I felt that the next book I had to do was something that would celebrate each and every year of LaSalle football. So the almanac that I produced, and I'll show it to you right here. Oh, yeah, get a good uh, shot of that. Leave it, that up there, is, Bill. Okay, the, the almanac that was produced uh, and we're, on, we're selling now in, to support the Touchdown Club this year uh, is something that was written for each and every season. So there's a, at least a page on every season of LaSalle football going back to 1903. Uh, there's also lists of all Catholics and, and decade leaders and, and all sorts of other things involving LaSalle football, uh, pictures of the coaches, of the moderators. Uh, so there's a lot more than just the year by year. But it really celebrates everyone's contribution to LaSalle football over the years. And there's over 2,300 pictures. So there's not much reading in this book. There's a lot more pictures than reading. But it really chronicles everything that I could as assemble uh, up until this past year. So how could folks, if they're interested in this, how can they access it? And what are the proceeds? I know the proceeds are going somewhere great as well. Right. The proceeds are going to this year's Touchdown Club. And they've incurred a lot more expenses this year due to the travel to Ocean City, to Maryland, and to Harrisburg. So uh, that's going to support them directly, uh, and all the proceeds go to them. But uh, the you can contact me at uh, uh, my email address, explorerfb, as in football, explorerfb at gmail.com to get details on how to purchase the book. It's it's thirty dollars post paid or, and twenty five dollars for each extra book. Uh, I also use Venmo, and uh, I'll throw this up on the screen so that you can write this down. Oh, look but, at this! But He's here's prepared. here's my Venmo account. I feel like I'm s selling something on old UHF <laughs> TV, like plastic slip covers or something like that. You know what it really looks like, Bill? It looks like you're uh, you're on college game day and you're one of the signs where it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. mom, mom sent right. money keep, to my Venmo. Just keep yeah. Well, you know, I always <laughs> called Ryan Moore the uh, the Swiss Army knife of the team. And I was going to say that if you act now, you'll get a Ryan Moore Swiss Army knife in the mail too, but you won't. You'll just get the book. Uh, but the book is really good. And let your classmates and teammates know if you like it uh, and pass the word around because we've got a lot more books to sell. 
and, and it's something that is really a great chronicle of the history of LaSalle football, good and bad. Now, hopefully I'm not putting you in a spot here, but uh, I don't know for sure. If folks come and see you at one of the games, will you have any inventory? I have I have books everywhere I go. They're in my trunk of my car, so if you see me at a mall, I'll run out there and, and get a book for you. Uh, I have them at the game. We actually have them on sale at the uh, apparel rack this week. Uh, you know, you can call me up and come over to my house and pick them up like uh, Bonnie McDonald did earlier this week and her sons, three sons played LaSalle football. Uh, so one way or another, I'll get you the books if you get me the money. Bill Wasilenko, our featured guest here at halftime. Thanks for the info. Again, it's the LaSalle Almanac. Make sure you pick up your copy. Again, you saw Bill Wasilenko's a Venmo. Put that one back up there. Again, this, there is, this is hilarious yeah, this, to me. This is, but. <laughs> this, this is right out of Channel 29 in 1965. <laughs> He's been our guest. Get your almanac. Follow the work he does. And again, if next time you see him, make sure if you're not already on his uh, email distribution list, make sure you get on his email distribution list. He puts out some great content all the time. He's one of our favorites here. He helps us to do what we do. So if you're watching Bob Long Sports, you like what you see, you also like what this guy does because he's a big part of what gets us here. So, thanks, Bill, thanks very much, Bob. Thank you very Appreciate much for coming on. Okay. Enjoy take the care. second half. Yeah, let's go, LaSalle. All right, we'll take a break, come back in just a few minutes. Ray, you can just turn that to the field, and we'll be back for the second half shortly here on Bob Long Sports. Okay.